Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 23, and this is war number seven, and we're going up against an alliance called Ramji Ki Sena. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, uh, but in any case, I've gone in, I've checked out my paths, looked at the defenders. You'll notice that I'm not going in with Corvus. So why I sometimes go in with Corvus is because I've looked and I see that I can get charges with Corvus. If I don't see that I can get some charges with Corvus, then I'm probably not going to bring him unless he is just like the perfect counter for a particular fight. All right, so the first fight is going to be against Venom the Duck. And I don't fight him a whole lot, but he's not very difficult to deal with. Now, this node, the power struggle sometimes trips me up. Uh, so does the strike counter fury because they're going to be building up fury so what i usually do i just ignore the nodes and i like to go in with someone who does not rely on specials uh because i'm going to most likely use them for my second section path two which is strike counter um i think power all right so what we're doing here you can see he's building up furies right he's got six furies seven furies um, one of my strike counters are at zero. Now two of them are at zero. The only way to reset it is to fire off a special. But when he fires a special, it drains your power. So I don't want to get into a situation where I have to fire my special. Uh, in one war, I fought Thor Ragnarok. And he was actually a pretty good placement. But if I see a Thor Ragnarok over there, I'm bringing Corvus. And we will take him down. All right. Uh, so the next fight is going to be against Man-Thing. Now, anytime I see Man-Thing, I'm thinking of Black Widow Clairvoyant. She can cycle to her uh, Curse of Poison mode, and usually that's enough. Now, you don't want to get hit when they have a lot of Furies up. If you're going to get hit, try and get hit early on in the fight. Uh, if you didn't watch that video, I got two hit by Thing. Just pop, pop. And I was gone from almost full health. All right. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to end my combo with a light attack. There we go. Now I'm in poison mode. Now at this point, I don't want to change out. I do not want to go into any other mode. And one of the things that happens a lot uh, is my swipe, my final swipe, which should be a medium, will sometimes be read as a light attack and switch her. So one of the ways to combat that would be not to end your combos, not to do a five hit combo, just do three hit combos, four hit combos. That's one way to do it. Uh, the other way is if you're stubborn like me, you try to just be very deliberate and swipe almost downward angle, just you know, trying to be as deliberate as possible and, and hope. But I've had it where I've done that and it still read it as a light attack. So it's still dangerous uh, to hit, you know, to do a full, full five hit combo. All right, so now I got to the mini boss here and I'm like, ooh, I wanted to fight her. But I was like, but she's not cleared yet and I don't wanna deal with it. Okay, now she's clear and I got tagged. So I'm like, ooh, he must've had a little rough time on his path. So I get to fight Black Widow. And I'm going to boost up. There's no reason not to. I got plenty of these. I get them in regularly. And I'm going to fight this Black Widow with my own Black Widow. Yes, my newly ranked three, six star Black Widow. It's going to be a cat fight. Which Black Widow is better? So we both start in Curse of Blood. She's immune to blood. I switched out because I run suicide. So now I'm not taking that poison damage. And I can do poison damage to her because she's in that curse of blood. But I'm not worried about that. Here we go. I switched out to the incinerate, which is her damage phase, and just finished the fight off. I love this girl. She is a beast. Rotating immunities. She can be immune to blood, poison, and incinerate. That's awesome. Uh, and she does very good damage. So they already took out this mini, um, and I was not about to fight this Nick Fury on Mixmaster. 
maybe if I had Omega Red and they asked me to do it, but we usually have folks that are very good at fighting Mixed Master and have good counters. Um, I've done it, but I'm not comfortable with Mixed Master. Just not comfortable at all. Uh, I don't remember who was there, um, but they cleared that mini there. And now we're in Section 2, Path 2, and I got to fight this Guillotine 2099. And I'm often very wary because she can be a little tricky to fight. Uh, and I'll show you how I tackle her, all right? So we don't have to worry about, if you see how I always look at the tags, we don't have to worry about the stubborn because she's not defensive. So we can just go in here. You know, if it was flow, then we might have to be a little worried. Um, but we go in, boost it up, like I've said. Uh, no reason not to. And what I'm going to do is I want to fire off a heavy attack first. Boom. Boom. That puts her Digicloak on cooldown, and I can just go in and fight with full combos. I want to try to push her to a special two, um, and I was hoping to hit a special two there, but I wasn't paying close attention, and so I ended up firing off a special one. So now I do another heavy, get it back. She's doing her self repair, uh, repair. that's fine. All right, it's still on cooldown, and uh, you see what's happening. My power is being uh, drained. That is the node. All right. And uh, it almost tripped me up. But fortunately, she doesn't really need to fire those specials off. Uh, so we were able to get Guillotine 2099 down pretty straightforward and easy. Now, we've got Magic. I remember when Magic was a terror. That damage that she would do with her Limbo... We didn't have any way of countering it. Uh, we could play around it, and that's what you're going to see me do here. There's a way to play around it. So I'm parrying with Warlock, and while I'm, my goal is not to stop her limbo, all right? Um, my goal is to get that infection so that if she does fire the limbo off, she's not going to heal back up. So I won't have to take that much limbo damage. And you see I'm parrying doing the heavy attacks to get the uh, uh, poison, all right? And then, for some reason, I was looking up and away and got caught right there. My fault, wasn't paying attention. Um, I think I was looking up at the uh, uh, the buffs that she got, I'm making sure that I still had the infections on her and all of that, and I wasn't watching her. Um, but as you can see, not too much of a problem, but look at that health. You know, I got caught a few times, but in the end, Warlock did the job, did the job quite well. And you know that I wanted to use Warlock against this Domino, right? Uh, me and Domino, in case you guys didn't know, have this love-hate relationship. And uh, I always liked smacking her around with Warlock. She used to beat me like a drum all the time. And I, ooh, I hated that. Um, I didn't know how to fight her in the beginning. I didn't know about, you know, doing the um, light intercept or anything like that. But I finally got a good counter to her. Um, Archangel worked out pretty well. Um, but when I pulled Warlock, Warlock was made to fight dominoes. That was just awesome so when i do get a chance i try to do that now if i have corvus corvus is also uh, a good option if i had brought corvus in here i would have probably gone up against her with corvus for that mutant charge unless i already had the mutant charge then i would you know just go in with a warlock and smack her around all right but that's it for my participation in this particular war and we'll have a little intermission and we'll come back and you'll see how we did in this war. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, it was actually a pretty close war. Uh, we did more exploration, as you can see. Uh, and I believe that is what really got us this war. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. 
feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.